Hello friends, welcome. So in this video I'm going to prepare our project for the first I'm going to add the fillable fields to all of our models. Then I'm going to create the controller for the community, create the request for the community and also create the route resource for the community. And the last one I'm going to add the error input to the form. So in the register form Right now we display all the errors here and that's okay if you like, if you, but I don't like that. I want to display the error down there for the specific uh, input. So for the name, I'm going to display the error here and the same for the email and for the password. Okay, and the last one, we need to push the changes to the GitHub. Very good. So let's start with the uh, add fillable fields to the, to the model. And I'm going to use the PHP storm for now. And let's open the models. And let's open first the comment model. I'm going to open also the table plus to see the fields we need, we have for the specific model. So Reddit clone click open and go to the comments. So we need the uh, user ID, post ID and the content. So let's come here and say protected dollar sign fillable, which is going to be an array with user ID, a post ID and the content. Okay, close this one. Next is going to be the community. So let's go and open communities. We need the user ID, name, description, Slack. So here, protected fillable, which is going to be an array with user ID. name description and the slack name description and the slack okay close this one open post and the same thing for the post let's go here and see here we need user id community id title slack url and the description so from here, protected, fillable, add user ID, community ID, title, slug, description, URL. Okay, so user ID, community ID, title, Slack, URL, and the description. Close this one. And now the last one is the post vote. So let's go here and we need the user ID, post ID, and the vote. So protected, fillable is going to be user ID, post ID, and the vote. Okay, save, uh, it's automatically save here. Okay, now we added that, let's create the community controller and community request. Let's go here and I'm going to open the terminal and say PHP artisan make controller and I'm going to say backend community controller 
you can just say community controller is no problem but i like to do it like this and let's say dar dash resource okay controller created successfully let's create the the request php artisan make request community store request okay good next one we need to create the road so let's open the roads web road and let's remove this one here now we have this road for the dashboard so when we go to the dashboard and we have added the middleware out and verified and because we need to add this middleware also to the all of our uh, communities or the posts and so on i'm going to create a road group so let's create here a road group and add middleware and let's add the auth and verify it here okay create a closure very good now remove this one this middleware from here and let's copy let's paste that in here okay next let's create our resource road for the communities so road resource slash communities and here let's add the community controller class okay and i think we have imported that community controller ah it's not uh, in here and why is that import class and yeah now it's correct because we have the backend very good let's close this one so we add the rows now let's add error inputs to the form so what I said in here and for that we need to go inside the uh, resources JS pages out page and in the register here we have the form and here we have the templates and we have by default this breeze validation errors but I want to display the separate input error so for that if you go to the components because we have installed the laravel breeze with inertia we have some components here by default and is the application logo button checkbox drop down and so on and also we have this input error and is with a tailwind css designed so here we need to add a message as a probe and it's going to show this uh, div if we have that message if not it's not going to show anything so for that i'm going to import that uh, and i'm going to just copy this and duplicate it 
and instead of breeze input I'm going to say breeze error input and also here let's say input error input error very good like this now we need to use that but before that we need to have the errors and if you go inside the inertia inertiajs.com and uh, we have the validation here and displaying errors so we need to get the errors as a prop we uh, need to define the props errors as an object and then we say if we have the errors for email display the errors email as you can see okay here we say if we if errors dot email and display errors dot email the same thing we are going to do for our project so let's come here and uh, in the template let's remove now the or let's leave it as it is and we are going to remove after so also let's remove this required for now and after this breeze input i'm going to say breeze input error or error input what is breeze error input yeah and i don't like this one maybe change this to be breeze input error like this okay and here now what i said uh, we need to add the message as a prop so let's say colon message and what we need to say here we need to say errors but we don't have the errors so in the script here i'm going to say define props okay and errors is going to be an object so the same we have here and now we have the errors and let's say in the breeze error input message is going to say we are in the for the name we are going to say if the errors name and let's close this and the same for the email password and username okay now if i just say register here without uh, filling any fields now we have the errors here but also the errors what i said under the input and i'm going to remove them here and leave only the this one now this is up to you so, so you can do what you like let's come up here and remove this breeze validation errors and the refresh again go and say register now we have only the uh, input errors okay so we have up this one and now let's say let's push this to the github we'll just close this and just say git add git commit and say prepare project and git push okay that's it for this video friends i hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you very much and see you in the next one